guys, it is Alisa here or The Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. I'm very happy you stopped in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. I try and post three videos a week while I still can and I love to have you join the tribe. If you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for your continued support. As I always say, I wouldn't be doing these videos without y'all. So I really appreciate everybody's support, everyone who takes time out of their day to like videos, to comment on videos, to share the videos with friends, family, or other people of the community you think might take uh, something away from the videos. I'm really, really thankful for all of the stuff you do uh, to support my channel. Today we have another special unboxing. This is a sneak peek for Diamond Art Club. Based on the blue branding here, we have a square diamond painting. And sorry, it's a long one, so I just have to finagle it a little bit. This is our Diamond Art Club sneak peek for this week. Uh, thank you so much, Diamond Art Club, for sending me this one. When I saw the image, I absolutely loved it. The sky is, has beautiful purples and pinks in it. I can't wait to actually look at the full image. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm super, super excited to get into this. Let me lift this box up a little bit. Now, if you are new to Diamond Art Club, I do have a coupon code that you can use to save some money, and it's my name, A-L-Y-S-A-10, and that saves you $10 off your first order. Now, no obligation to use that code at all. There are discount codes everywhere. I'm going to show you quite a few in this unboxing alone. If you ever have any questions, feel free to jot them down in the comment section. I, I sit down every morning and take a look at everybody's comments. So, uh, yeah. Here is this diamond painting. This is called Wormhole by Barrett Biggers. It's a square diamond painting and the size is 25.6 by 34.3 inches or 65 centimeters by 87 centimeters. Fair size diamond painting. A Diamond Art Club's boxes are nice and sturdy. They have some features on them. On the back, you will find information on how to diamond paint. There's also going to be a more in-depth uh, instructional pamphlet inside. What to expect in your kit in a few different languages and the usual disclaimers. Uh, something important to note is on one of the sides of your box, you are going to see this. It's another discount code to save 10% off in your order. You just scan that QR code and it will take you where uh, you need to be. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. Now this diamond painting is going to be one of the releases that will be for sale starting August 5th usual time which is 9 a.m. Pacific for diamond and ruby. Uh, so that's the early release and then 9.30 a.m. Pacific for the general release. You can google your time zone to see what your time zone is. Um, I'll put a couple on the screen as well. Yeah, super excited to get into this kit. So once we open our box, we have three things in the box. We get our small sticker here. This sticker is great for using in your paper logbook for those of you that keep one. I actually use this one for storage purposes, so I will stick it either on the end of my box right here, or I will stick it right on the sleeve here. Um, depends which way I'm storing the specific diamond painting. That way when I go into my storage or my closet, I can easily identify what diamond painting is what without having to open everything. So that's what I do with that little sticker. Again, it comes with all the information you, you might want on it. The name of the canvas, the artist, um, the shape and the dimensions. I will show you what sticker I use in my logbook. Once we open this thing, let's see this toolkit. See what goodies we got in here. This Diamond Art Club tool comes with everything and then some. So we get a few extra goodies in this version of the toolkit. We have a diamond painting pen and a matching squishy. These will vary in color, but they usually match. It comes with a single placer on there. And then they do send us a couple multi-placers. These are thin, considered thin multi-placers. The opening is just a bit thinner than other standard placers, which a lot of people really, really like. There is a four and a seven placer. You just pop that in the other end of the pen here. Kind of wiggles on there. And diamond paint away. Now, if you like these thin 
plastic multi-placers. You are going to love Diamond Art Club's new metal multi-placers. I've tried uh, both the three and the six placer. They each pick up an extra diamond. Uh, so the three picks up a four and a six picks up seven. As long as your placer is filled full with putty or wax or whatever you use. Um, Diamond Art Club sends two plates of wax. These ones are stuck in there a little bit. So two plates of wax. They do have a protective cover on it. So just make sure you remove that before you try and load your diamond painting pen. This is a common wax people use to place their diamonds. We also get a random roll of washi tape. This one is some pretty flowers on it. There are a few different uses for washi tape. I do have a video going over a few of them in my tips and tricks playlist section of my channel. We also have this cute dolphin cover minder. I've not seen this one yet. A cover minder has two magnets. The dolphin goes on top of our canvas. This free magnet goes underneath and it helps hold back the plastic when you're diamond painting or I use it to secure release papers in place. We have our standard diamond painting tray. This little plastic piece at the spout here can come out. It's called a stopper and it just stops diamonds from flying out when you're shaking your tray. Doesn't really matter which way it goes as long as you're not forcing it in too hard. Every square diamond painting from Diamond Art Club will come with a set of tweezers. These are metal tweezers. They're very, very sharp, so please be careful. Always keep this protective cover on the tip. They've upgraded the, the um, cover too. It's nice and sturdy as well. So that is the Diamond Art Club toolkit. Also baggies. These always come uh, in your toolkit. It's great if you are going to save some leftover diamonds or if you have some special diamonds you want to store as well. Now let's get into the canvas here. So our canvas comes in this resealable Diamond Art Club plastic sleeve. Helps keep dust and pet hair out. It's just a little bit of adhesive here. So as long as you pull it back carefully, it's usually resealable. Otherwise, I just stick a piece of tape on it. And let's take a look. So Diamond Art Club's canvases are a nice soft plush backing. They're very, very high quality. They also have a special feature that makes it self flattening. So if you're to unroll it and lay it flat, it will flatten itself out um, in a relatively short time. We can also roll it back on itself to make it go a little bit flatter, which I'm going to do for the purpose of the video. Before I do that though, I do want to show you what else to expect. We got our diamonds. We will go through these at the end. We have the little thank you uh, for your purchase brochure. So this is just a little message from the founder of the company saying thank you for shopping with them. We have what's included in your kit in a couple different languages. We have our tips and tricks here if you are new to Diamond Art Club and we have yet another discount code. This is 10% off your next purchase using thank you 10 on your order. We have a QR code that takes you to Diamond Art Club's instructional video. I also have an instructional video for beginners, also tips on multi-placing and working with squares. All of those tips and tricks videos can be found in my tips and tricks playlist section to make it easier. Down here we have a QR code that takes us to the VIP Facebook group. This is a Facebook group for Diamond Art Club customers to share their progress, their whips, their purchases, um, tips and tricks, and, and, and just build community. It's a great resource uh, to be part of. If your Diamond Art Club account name is different than what your name on Facebook is, you may be declined. You just have to send support at diamondartclub.com an email and they will get you taken care of. They just want to make sure that they uh, keep the group safe and uh, customers only are in there. Step-by-step -step instructions over here on the side and a few different languages again. And on the back we have two more QR codes that will take you to the App Store on your respective phone where you can save $20 off your first purchase through their app. This is our sticker sheet. I absolutely love this sticker sheet. So this is the picture that I will put in my paper logbook. I like it because it's much bigger and you can really see detail in a canvas, especially one like this where you have some small elements like the person on the mountain right in the middle there. It also has all the same information. So Wormhole is the name of the painting. Artist is Barrett Bigger, Biggers. We can write our start and end date there and reminds us it's a square diamond painting and the dimensions. We have 50 colors in this kit. All of these extra stickers here, you can save for future use. They All of these stickers are 
individually cut and you can just peel them off and stick on your containers or your baggies however you decide to kit up your diamond painting. Um, if you're new, kit up, that refers to the process of getting your diamonds out of these bags and into a storage system that works for you to make diamond painting more fun. So as I said, 50 colors at the top there. Any number under 150 is going to be an AB diamond. So we have one in this kit, that's number 127. And then at the very bottom, oh wow, we have three fairy dust diamonds. So at the bottom is where we find Diamond Art Club's other special diamonds. So they have a bunch, they have fairy dust, they have uh, crystals, which they call iridescent, I believe, metallic. They have, what else do they have? They have quite a few, it's on their website. Uh, fairy dust is, is quite common these days because we all really love how they look on a canvas and this one has three. So fairy dust starts always starts with a Z. Um, L is crystal. Those are the two that I see most commonly. I'm not sure about the other ones, but uh, I will show you what all of that means once we open up the diamonds. We can get a good look at the symbols. I absolutely love that um, they worked really hard to make sure their numbers match here. And all their symbols are always easy to identify and easy to see. Okay, let me put these aside for now. And I am going to have to move the camera back and probably do a pan over of this canvas to make sure I get it all in frame so you guys get a good look at uh, the canvas that you may be purchasing. So as I said, Diamond Art Club is poured glue. That means that we can roll the canvas backwards on itself. It's just going to make it lie a little bit flatter, a little bit sooner for the video. I do that with all my diamond paintings, uh, regardless if I'm filming an unboxing or not. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love the colors. And this is going to be an absolutely fun canvas to work on. I will show you. Um, I'm seeing lots of areas of color blocking and where I can use my multi-placer, which is where I thrive. So what I'm going to do, because this canvas is quite large, I am going to pan over the canvas. So give me a second here. We're going to go on a ride. able to see the canvas in its entirety during that a little pan over there. So many beautiful colors in the skies and the mountains. I'm from Canada in the province of BC, British Columbia, and we are surrounded by mountain ranges. So this image is just perfect and I love how there's a person standing on top of the mountain there. It's just such a cool image. So open to interpretation and different meaning for different people. Absolutely gorgeous. So a few things about Diamond Art Club's canvases. As I said earlier, they have a very soft uh, plush backing here. You can see that the edges are poked and scalloped. That helps prevent any fraying. That being said, I have cut down my Diamond Art Club canvases. I cut down the white border by half on all of them. None of them have ever frayed going over two years. Here is their branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle. On their canvases, you get two schematics. On the canvas, you get one in the top left, and then you get one in the bottom right, which is handy when you're working on different parts of the canvas. That schematic is the same as the paper legend. What I actually like doing these days uh, is taking a photocopy of this paper legend before I kit up. That way I can have a walking legend beside me. So in case I'm covering some of this uh, legend on the canvas, I have a paper copy next to me. If you forget to do that, you can always email Diamond Art Club, or sorry, support at diamondartclub.com and ask them for the PDF copy and keep it on your phone. I just find a printout a lot easier. When I'm diamond painting, I really don't want my phone on or near me, right? Here is the information on the bottom left of the canvas. We have a small thumbnail there. Pasting area, that refers to the area where the glue is, where the diamonds are going. We have the name, 
wormhole, the dimensions again, and copyright the artist Barrett Biggers and Diamond Art Club. All of Diamond Art Club's paintings are legally licensed. That means that the artist uh, has not only given their permission for the use of the artwork, for diamond painting, but they're also getting fairly compensated. So art, art licensing is really important in the diamond painting community. So it's great to see that Diamond Art Club also carries that value. Here we have another discount code here, another 10% off code to use. And here's a reminder of Diamond Art Club's business pages on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you follow their business page too. That's different than their VIP Facebook group. The business page is where we see Diamond Art Club give sneak peeks on the new releases coming on the Saturday or the Wednesday. And um, yeah, that's where you're going to see the first, first sneak peek. So make sure you're following them. Uh, if you didn't know, in the VIP Facebook group, there are two long-standing members of the community, Julia Catherine Collages, who post a wonderful collage of all of Diamond Art Club's releases for, the, usually it's just the Saturday. I'm not sure if they do a Wednesday one now or not, but um, look for them on Friday afternoons for Saturday releases. They try and have all of the canvases, estimated prices, all the information and links to the uh, sneak peek videos. Also, if you don't follow Sophie, the Diamond Help Desk, make sure you do that. She's also a fellow sneak peeker for Diamond Art Club. And each week she puts all of our sneak peeks in a playlist, easily identifiable, so that you have one spot to look for all of the sneak peeks. So if you don't follow her, I do recommend doing that as well. Here we have a reminder of a lifetime warranty. That uh, means if there's any problem with the glue, the diamonds, the canvas, all you have to do is shoot support at diamondartclub.com and email and they get you taken care of, okay? Lifetime warranty. Uh, if you are the original purchaser, that of course is void when you ever do any de-stashing. Just a random tip in case you did not know. Now the diamonds, let's take a look here. I am gonna fast forward through uh, the big crinkle, so hold on. I am seeing so many purples here, I am so happy. Purple is my favorite color. Let's take a look, we have lots of diamonds here. At request of the viewers, I do go over the diamonds. I don't spend a ton of time on it, but I do review them for those of you that like the information. I don't know where to begin, so let's just grab this one. I'm actually going to move the camera again, just a little bit. Bear with me here. Okay, Diamond Art Club Diamonds, they are not in numerical order, they are based in weight. We're actually starting at, as you can see, a low weight strip of diamonds here, just the way they fell out here. I've also noticed recently they've started putting a line under the number so you know which way is right side up, which is super handy. So let's get started here. So we've got one bag. It's going to be one bag unless I say that there's more than one bag, okay? So 839 and 840, 3705 and 803, 666, 791, 321, 800, 3801 and 498. That's a beautiful red color. Nice deep red. 3807, 814, 3687, 335, 3350, 3803, 815, 3832, 158, and 962. We have 3325, 3740, 961, 327. There are two bags of that. We have two bags of 553. Five, we have two bags of 333. Three, three. 600, 792, 823. Two bags of 3326 three, and a 153. I absolutely love the color so far. And taking a look at these diamonds, these all look like the new diamonds. Um, Diamond Art Club is always upgrading their um, um, supplies in their kits. Uh, and I think they like, like to make it a surprise and see if we notice a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, they updated their resin formula. So things are looking super sparkly. Also the facets on these now. Um, Look to be pretty much all the new 20 faceted drills, which is awesome. They're just, you know, anytime there's an upgrade, it's always just a little bit better, right? 
Okay, these are some bigger bags. So we've got 153, two bags of 3041, 316, 336. Here we have our first fairy dust diamond. So this is Z554. Don't mind me, I've said Z, I've said Z. I don't even know what the Canadian version is versus the American version, but I use them interchangeably. So Fairy Dust Diamond has a very special coating on it that's super sparkly. It's like a very, very fine, I call it a fancy glitter or mica powder is what it looks like to me, really. Uh, it's super shiny and the coating on top matches the DMC color. So it's a very subtle look. Looks absolutely amazing when they're down on the canvas. And we've got two bags of those. I will show you where they go once uh, we've gone through the rest of these diamonds. We've got a 552. And we've got one bag of this one, which is another fairy dust diamond, Z340. Really hard to see in their bags here, but there is a super shiny coating. It's different than the AB diamonds. We have 155. We have three bags of 310. That's not bad. 154 is one of my favorite colors. We've got three bags of it. We've got 915, 3834, and two bags of 550. Let me just put this so I remember where the fairy dust diamonds are. Let me go over them. And this long strip here. Another bag of 550. I think that makes three bags. Uh, 3835. We have three bags of 963, which is a pale pink. And we have, holy moly, one, two, three, four, five, six bags of a white fairy dust, 3865. I had a feeling there was gonna be a lot of uh, white fairy dust in here. So what did I say, five? One, two, three, four, five, six bags of that. We have one, two, three, four bags of 939. We have two bags of 209, 775, and then our AB, which is this beige color, 127. AB diamond is a bit different. It has a different shiny coating on the top. It reflects light uh, differently, so that's why when you do this, <laughs> you see all sorts of colors jumping off the tops of those diamonds, blues, greens, orange, red, pink, yellow. Uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which stands for the Northern Lights. So um, when you put them down on your canvas, it just makes everything sparkle a little bit more. Now let's do that AB diamond first. So again, it's the beige color. And that's going to be number one. Now, again, bear with me while we look where these things go because they're going to be everywhere. So, what's the best way to do this? I have no idea. Okay, so we have some ones in the mountains here. So that beige B again. All down here. There is like a gradient here where this white mixes into the different pinks or purples. So this kind of beigey color all along here is that AB. I'll lift it up here so you can see all those number ones. We've got number ones in the cloud over here on the bottom left. And then in this entire circle in here, so all in the inner part here, We've got that AB, and then it's sprinkled throughout the whole thing, throughout the entire thing. I'm really not sure. Now, sometimes I like blinging up my canvases. Sometimes I add extra special diamonds that, that would have been charted. But I think this one's going to have so many. I don't think I need to, need to add anything more. The way that the AB is distributed through here, it's just everywhere. It's going to look so pretty. And even up here through here, all the white kind of bordering all of the white you're seeing, some in here in the clouds as well, some in here, some over here. So that's that beige AB. Now the next one is that white fairy dust diamond. So again, it's this one, white fairy dust. And the white fairy dust is the little square. Wow, okay, so all of the white, all this middle is the fairy dust, the white fairy dust. I had a feeling they were going to do that. So that little square there, 
or it looks like a dot through the camera. That's the fairy dust diamond. So we have it everywhere. Let's look up here. So we have all these little white dots is going to be the fairy dust diamond, little twinkly stars, all throughout the pinks and reds in here. All of these white spots, basically, all of the white spots are going to be fairy dust. This entire middle section going down here, fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust, some in here, some through here as well. Um, these big kind of crosses or big twinkly stars are fairy dust, fairy dust in here. The clouds here, all this white you're seeing is all the fairy dust. And then down through here, all of this white here is fairy dust, fairy dust, fairy dust. Even down to the very bottom of the canvas, this white here is fairy dust. That's a lot. That's going to be so beautiful. So, so beautiful. We have two more fairy dust to find. So let's do this one which is kind of, I, I guess you kind of call it a periwinkle color. 340, 340 is a double dash sign. So again, it's going to be sprinkled everywhere. I wish I had four hands. So this double dash sign that we're seeing here, you can see that, that's the fairy dust, all of that. So make sure I'm in camera still, not really. Sorry, the cat's going to come investigate. All through here, again, it's outlining the blue and the clouds. It's going to be all mixed in there. It's just beautifully rendered all in there. The Fairy Dust Diamond, I find, is very subtle. It's a very subtle shine that, that it blends really well. It's not like a, you know, it doesn't jump out at you. It's just a very subtle um, glitter on it that it looks just amazing. Uh, over here at the bottom here of the, the camera lens, it's all mixed in here. I'm not seeing much of it up here. I think it's mostly the bottom of the canvas. Yeah. There is another one that's another squiggly line, which kind of tripped me up, but probably more because I'm doing multiple things at once. Um, where is, there it is, this one. It's a pinky purpley Z554, fairy dust again. So if we look at the legend, that blue one that I just showed you was this, these double lines and the purple one are these squiggly lines. They are different, but uh, if you're not paying attention, like right now, uh, you might mix them up a little bit, but um, I think when you're diamond painting, it's gonna be, you're not gonna have a problem at all. I'm just looking through here. So that's where most of the blue fairy dust is. And then when we get up here is where we see the purple fairy dust all through here, in here. Um, I saw some coming down here. Yeah, lots over here. All through here. It's just sprinkled, kind of outlining areas. Some on that side. Let's see if there's any more up here. Did I see any? There is a few sprinkled in up at the top here, up here as well, just a little bit where there's some purple through there as well. Amazing, this kit has so many fairy dust diamonds. I think a total, I said six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags of fairy dust diamonds, three different colors, plus two bags of an AB. This canvas is going to be blinged out quite a bit, I think. I don't think I'm gonna do anything special for it because I think the way the colors are rendered, it's just gonna, sorry that I have to do that. I just wanna get this part of the canvas on the camera. Um, the way the colors are blended, I think it's gonna look amazing. I can't wait to see this one done. Let me know your thoughts. Are you gonna be picking up this canvas this weekend? Let me know if you have any questions. If I forgot to go over something or you have questions, leave them in the comment section. I try and come back to the comment section during the day in case there are any questions if I forgot to answer anything or if anybody, you know, has questions, feel free to leave them down below. Again, uh, as a reminder, this painting is releasing on Saturday, August 5th at usual time, which is 9 o'clock Pacific time for Diamond and Ruby early release members and 9.30 a.m. Pacific for general release. I will have a couple time zones on the screen. You can also Google, for example, 9 a.m. PST to EST and see what your time zone is or whatever your time zone is. 
uh, yeah, super excited. That early release um, time, 9 o'clock Pacific, they will send an email link if you're new to that tier. They do send an email link. That's how you purchase it. And the email can come even earlier. I see mine at about 8.45, for, so 45 minutes before the uh, general release. So if this diamond painting or one of the others is something you really, really want, uh, you have to have it. Make sure you are checking that email inbox about 45 minutes before general release so that when you do get that email, you can quickly click it, purchase your kits, and uh, good to go. Uh, if a kit does sell out, don't forget to sign up for the email notifications. That's a good way for Diamond Art Club also to uh, know the interest in certain paintings to see which ones are more, say, more popular that they might want to uh, push through. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Production, push through production. So make sure you do sign up for those email notifications. They do work. I've been getting email notifications all week of these canvases that I forgot that I really, really wanted. So I've been getting them. Uh, so yeah, um, if you are new to the channel, I'd love to have you click that subscribe button. You can click the notification bell as well to be notified when I do post videos. I hope you guys get whatever canvases you are wanting this week. And until my next video, happy diamond painting. Bye.